Shall we begin? Hello, and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, today uh, we're going to do a little bit of a, a DIY MacGyver project, and it was from a, uh, a viewer that asked me, about the shark too and he asked me his name is Bruce and Bruce asked me uh, hey Dale uh, is there a way to adapt this hose to that fitting well no but there is a way to do it if you decide you wanted to purchase the shark too uh, sup pump uh, one of the things you're going to have to do is adapt to get to the military spring valve adapter from AE. Now, Advanced Elements has this uh, adapter that comes with every boat. And what I've got to do is figure out a way to get this in here. Now, this is threaded and it threads on to the, this is, right here is the high pressure adapter piece. And it basically just screws on here like this. So I said, okay, well, how can I make this work? Because I got to keep this intact to fill up the air volution. And I want to be able to put the military spring valve adapter in play on the Shark 2. As you can see, it just won't work. So what we're going to do is they had a couple extra fittings in the kit that came with the Shark 2. And I looked at one of them, and it was too narrow, and it would really restrict some air. But then they had this one right here. Now, this one, I think, will work. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is take a Dremel tool, and I'm going to reduce the circumference like this, around and around and around and around, and test fit it to where it goes inside of here. Then I'm going to use some uh, Gorilla Super Glue. And put these two together so this threaded section here is going to sleeve inside of this adapter like that so this part will be inside of this part the only way I can do this is to reduce the outside diameter to fit into the ID of the adapter from AE so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start this I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using for this little project so hey, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, this is basically all I'm going to be using here. Let me explain to you what I'm going to be doing. Uh, looking at the ID of the military spring valve adapter for the advanced element kayak, uh, and this circumference, as you can see, won't fit inside. So I'm going to take the OD and kind of sand that down and try to get it to sleeve all the way and flush to this point. Uh, if I can't, then I'm going to take a cutting wheel and shorten this a little bit because I want to get that in kind of like that tight. And then add super glue all the way around here and then I'm going to run a bead of super glue on the exterior surface. Now, once I do this, it's going to have an additional adapter for the shark tube pump. So I'll be taking this small drill and drilling a hole right here to add a small piece of paracord so I can fill either an advanced elements military spring valve or the air volution or sup board or whatever whatever with the high pressure adapter and then I can easily switch over to the military spring valve adapter from advanced elements. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this so hey, we'll be back in a sec. I'm trying to keep this as flat as I can because I want to have even distribution. But we'll see. And I'll take a little bit of material off each time. Okay, I'm going to do a quick test fit. 
I know it's not going to fit, but I just want to find out where I'm at. I got to take a lot of material off, so let's get with this. Okay, another test fit. Now let's get in there. I'm down about maybe a quarter of an inch like that and I want to get it to where I can butt it up here. So now I'm just going to work off the excess material and stay off this section here. Alright, let's see where we are. Oh man, we are almost there. About a quarter of an inch away. Okay, we're going to check it again. And I think that's got it. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to go get me a piece of sandpaper and smooth this thing out. Right around here to where it's all equal. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, we got this all sanded down now and it's really really smooth and it really fits in there really good I mean as you can see here I am almost to the top but that's where I'm gonna run the bead of super glue after I apply it but it's pretty even all the way around now that I sanded it so we're all good to go but before I put the super glue in I'm gonna go ahead and drill that hole for the line that I can dangle this thing from when I'm using one adapter and then I can switch. So let's get this hole drilled. Done, done, and done. And I'm going to put a small piece of paracord in here and link it up with this one here. So uh, I can switch between, uh, like if I'm using my 1044 or my Expedition Elite, which has a high pressure drop stitch floor, I can fill up the drop stitch floor with that and then fill up the S Expedition uh, using this adapter system here. And then using the uh, advanced elements pump to do the standard twist valves or blow into them myself. It doesn't matter which one or for the combing or whatever. So hey. What we're going to do now is set up the, uh, the gluing. What we're going to do now, guys, is go ahead and apply super glue on this. And then I'm going to use it kind of like the same uh, process as you do uh, PVC glue. You know, you go in here and then you turn it a quarter. And uh, so let me get this put on and uh, we'll get right. we're almost done with this project. Now I'm applying liberal amounts of super glue. So it's going to take a while to dry, but that's okay. I'm down with that. Okay. Time to slap the adapter in there. Oh, and it already did the bead for me. That's what I was thinking. Let me turn it just a little bit. Oh. Just like that. And you can see here, the bead has already sealed itself. So, so it's good to go right now. You can see the hole. Let me get the angle right there. So I don't have any air restriction and it will hit the portion of the uh, military spring valve that's going to depress the spring off the advanced element one. So it should work out really, really cool. Alright guys, what we're going to do now is just basically add this little piece of paracord and linking this one and this one together so I can do a switch out like that. So that's what we're going to do right now. It won't take but a minute if I can get all that super glue off my fingers. Alright. First thing I want to do is just carry this through here, like that, 
carry it over to this one where I drilled the hole like that and then I'm going to tie a knot Okay, now that one, as you can see, it won't pull through. Now, I just want probably about two or three inches so it doesn't get in the way of any valves. So it'll probably be right there. And let me go ahead and cut that. In fact, before I do that, I want to tie a knot here. Because I want to stop it from going through the other end. Let me move that down a little ways. That should be enough. Put that right there. Now let me heat this so I can get it go through the hole. And then run this through here. Now what that does, see. I'm going to keep it from going down onto the other valve or other adapter. Now I just tie a knot in this and we're good to go. There we go. Now it's not going to slide anywhere. Do this real quick. Okay, do a test fit. Okay, the Shark 2 has been adapted for the Advanced Elements uh, Military Spring Valve. No problem. Easy project. Not that big a deal when you're done. You just unscrew this one. And go to your high pressure. Just screw that adapter in. And then you're ready to fill your high pressure floor. Well, hey guys, we are going to wrap this thing up, and this was a pretty easy project to do. So basically what we did, guys, is we were able to make an adapter that would work with the Outdoor Master Shark 2 uh, sup pump. And now I can use this on any one of my uh, Advanced Element kayaks and also any of my drop stitch floors and also this fitting for the Air Evolution. So it's a real simple project. Again, let me just recap on the uh, hardware you're going to need. Basically a drill. And the drill is if you want to run a little tether like I did here. Uh, so that's not a requirement. You're going to need a drum sander. Your Dremel. little piece of sandpaper to kind of even out everything on the uh, outside diameter of the adapter you're fitting it to. And then add a liberal amount of super glue because that will take care of your seal bead at the top and it did it did a it's like it's permanently fused like forever ever so i know it's going to work great uh bruce i hope that answered uh, your questions and anybody else that had a question like that uh, again this now can be used on my air evolution a sup board and it can be used on any of my advanced element kayaks to fill up using the military spring valve uh, advanced elements adapter and high pressure floor uh, adapter so hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you on the next one